Welcome back to WeRV.TV, the Camper Pros. We're back, we haven't done a video in a while, but look at this, guys. That's stumps, we're taking out. This is in our foundation, which is gonna be buried. We decided about build a house on our other land, and I'm gonna show you the shop. This is kind of, I haven't done a video in a while, while but this is a lot of work. We have been working really, really hard on RVs, fixing RVs, and this. If you would know the size of that, it's almost half of a car house foundation, and probably about, 20 feet tall. There's a lot of stumps there. We had to haul them over from the other land. We use a skid steer excavator, and that's the house right there. This is a big hill it drops, see it? So we use the skid steer, we use the excavator, and we made that pile right there, and we had to use the Ford, our Ford Camper Pros truck, with a trailer, it's a tilt trailer with a dump, that's Bill's, and uh, we used his trailer, but this is the excavator we used to do that. We're a camper repair site if you're new to our channel, and that's with the ambulance. We have a bunch of vehicles that go out and do mobile RV repair, and this is our house. So let me explain something to you. I'm about to show you guys a big surprise that we've been working hard on, and we kind of kept it off camera, but keep watching. All this is all new area, so we can park RVs, but we're not. We're trying to get the RVs out of here and trying to get them over there to our new shop right over there. We rented a chipper that you guys didn't know about. Got a really good deal on a huge 200 horse chipper. And we put all mulch all around everywhere. It's pretty. I don't know what in the world Heather's thinking about with that stump, but that driftwood we got a piece from Florida. That's from Florida. That came from an uh, island. This one, I don't know why she put a regular stump there for a tree. Just get rid of it. This is probably, I'm going to say, I'm just for guess that this mulch right here would have cost us, if we bought it per bag and we didn't chip it ourselves, 400, 500, 500 dollars. We, we did mulch the Leland Cypress all the way across. Let me take the little golf cart over there, which is not a golf cart, it's a smart car, but that's what we bought it for, a golf cart. We've been working hard, so the ambulance is a disaster right now. It's a disaster. So we gotta clean this up, restock this up, and we stocked the van up, so. This is our smart car. She's getting a little dirty because we're working in the dirt. Let it air out a little bit because it's hot. Heather did all these pretty flowers right here. She did this bed with the bricks and stuff, and she did that one too, another bed over there. We painted the house, in case you didn't notice. Up to date, painted the house, the whole thing. And uh, there's Heather, how you doing Fred? Welcome back to the V-Blog after about two or three months of being off the v Did you tell him why? Why? Because he lost his card. Really? Mm -hmm. And it was in the RV the whole time. Holy smokes. Okay, Duke, that's a little booby. Duty booby. See, I'm on heart medicine now. She's on heart medicine, so she's still kicking. Barely, but kicking. And thyroid medicine. Thyroid medicine. medicine. Okay, that's our house, and that's where our shop's going right here. I'll show you what we've done. Okay, there we go. This driveway from this pipe, we had to put a pipe in, which was $700 for a piece of plastic. This pipe is almost three foot down. It's got some dirt in it. we got to clean it. This pipe goes this way, under the road for drainage. From here to here is 39 feet. Maybe 38 feet, so you can take the turns with the RV. And we're going to do is I'm going to get all the RVs out of our house so it makes it look like a house. And we'll hide them back here where no one can see them. And then our other house is going there. So that'll be our that'll be our guest house, the other one. So this is this has got to be graded down about six inches because this is the uh, topsoil, and we're gonna go down to the uh, the clay. So we what I did with skid steer is we I, I did all this mulch on the side, so we had that's about a foot thick. So I did the whole side so that I won't wash down. And we had the chipper, like I said, that's why we got the mulch. For, it, what it rent, what it cost to rent us a chipper, to rent the chipper, we got back in mulch three times over. So we got about $3,000 of mulch. So we're gonna bring this driveway down a little bit and I'll show you where the shop's going. These two lot, this is a right of way for this lot. This is a separate lot, okay? Now, these lots are non hoa lots. What? Oh, someone with RV. Anyways, they're, uh, Okay, we got interrupted. Someone pulled an RV in, which is supposed to be by appointment only, and I don't have an appointment, so it kind of ticks me off. We got exciting ladies here, but she never she never told me she's coming today. Oh my gosh, people. All right, back in the car. We just dropped the fifth wheel off, and the paneling is the wrong paneling, so now we got to wait probably a month to get more paneling in, and probably $700 shipping, but that's okay. No big deal. Okay. We didn't mess it up either with the place that we ordered it from did. So maybe they can speed it up. So I'm coming down that same driveway right now. So this is the 38 feet wide for the RVs. 
Man, that's irritating that I can't get the right parts. <sighs> that's why I didn't want to paint them yet. They need to be painted. I was like, let's not paint them yet because I don't want to paint something that's, you know, look at the dust, guys. Look at it. Holy. I'll keep this thing running. All right. Okay. So I'm back in the same same place here. And that come up this driveway, and then this is the shop. It's going to be 100 foot long by... Um, 100 foot long by oh someone was in here 100 foot long by um 60 wide so it's gonna be huge with 22 foot ceilings so it's all all in with woods and no one can see it these are non-hoa lots so i can do anything i want here by law so this is the another pile we're burning these are the property lines we put stakes in so we wouldn't mess that up we cleared all this we're making a bank here for other houses so they don't see anything even higher and nicer and we're gonna put wood chips on them it's gonna be nice but bill did a great job at the banks so we can't see anything and then we gray we got to grade this down so see it goes like this so we're going to take this down three feet and push it this way this is this is probably about you're looking at probably three acres so this is right here wood pile is gonna be burnt and when i get close to it and i compare you my height you're gonna be like holy smokes uh, probably the biggest wood pile i've ever seen stumps more stumps more stumps and more stumps you just keep walking it keeps going and going and going see that guys oh it's dry out oh i hear thunder which is good because i just put grass seed down so that's a big pile that's getting burnt we made this little wire we stripped out some trees we're about to burn right there for this gentleman's house he's a real nice guy and this will be grass and gravel and everything else so and if you come this is the shop right there, the driveway for the shop, and we're have another driveway for the house. This is where our house is going to be. Sorry about the wind. We're going to get a thunderstorm. Sorry about the wind. So we rented a chipper and we chipped everything. This is the this is we cleared this out last two years ago, last year, and the house is going to go right where those rocks are. Big house. So we got a lot of land here. These are HOA lots, but that's the chips we had. see how many chips it's like pretty big it's a pretty big pile guys and we used all this right here from this tall six feet tall we used all this for the mulch on the side of roads in our house we did a lot in the house so so this is it guys so the new the house driveway is going to be there house is going to be here pulls in the backyard then come over here and it's going to be you walk into the shop it's actually a pretty big walkway here this driveway is right here is going to come down three feet to get dirt to go over there but it's going downhill at a pretty good grade about eight feet it's an eight feet eight foot dip so this is all gonna be rock grass and we can't do the dozer until this is burnt we can't find it we, we don't want to burn anybody's house down so we got to get the fire department here for a donation to watch it and we're gonna torch this up and it's raining not now it's way too dry so bill did really good here still got some sticks we gotta take out but so you're going to turn RVs around right here. And this is this is going to be gone. This was just dirt from the driveway. All this dirt is going to go over there. But there's still sticks and everything you got to pick up constantly, constantly, constantly. So, so that's it, guys. That's the project we've been working on. We didn't tell you about. I got to probably invested in this whole thing right now. I got about, I want to say $12,000. And I did a lot. I did, you know, use the Ford truck. I used a lot of my fuel. He used his fuel too, but yeah, we're we're pretty much into this for like twelve thousand dollars so far, and we haven't even started really. I mean, this is just we have to grade all this yet, and so it's going to cost me about twenty with the rock and everything, maybe twenty-one thousand. But that's not counting getting power in here, water, and that's not counting for the house. This is just for graded for the to get back here, you know. Golf cart's running good. She's a little three popper. You hear? Ting 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 ting. So the motor's in the back. So the three-cylinder car. The 2000 or whatever, I don't even know, eight. So, uh, it's kind of cool because it's got AC in here too. And it's a golf cart that doesn't get wet, so I love it. Hey, for three grand, what are you gonna do? You can't go wrong. And it does 60 miles an hour, 70. I don't know if this does 70, maybe 60. I've never took it on the road. I don't really care to. So, I can't wait till this all rocks. We can actually drive back here. I'll show you how far it is to the house. This is why I got this car, if I can go back and forth. Plus, I can take it to the RV parks. And uh, 
we do a lot of RV parks in the summer. We take it equestrian center and stuff. All right, so right here. Okay, yeah, this is already doing 25 miles an hour that quick, so I don't think a golf cart can do that quick. That's why I want this, because it's got ice cold AC. He just put a new compressor in here, charged it, put new tires, brakes, everything. So, so we did all that mulch right there. That fifth wheel just came in. Ooh, I'm sliding it a little, guys. So that fifth wheel came in right there and I moved this class A over and then that the underskirting I'll show you we got to replace it all but the problem is it doesn't fit I don't know why they don't have 18 inch I only got 16 inch so it's a problem they don't sell it they don't have it anymore so that's what I was told that's what Heather was told you got power windows in your golf cart this weighs 2250 pounds golf carts weigh a thousand so I can trailer this around, no problem. This is just a temporary pool, guys. I'm not keeping this rednecky pool here. But the filter, we can take in any any RV. We got it for 100 bucks or like $300. So it's a real hot, real pool filter with sand. So this is kind of ghetto, but you know what? I don't care because it keeps you cold in the summer. It's clear, clean, and uh, that's all it cares. About. That's all I care about. So we're gonna take that down later. And get an in-ground pool over there but you gotta i gotta be patient because buildings are very very expensive to build right now i'm not building the house i'm not building the shop been there done that takes too much of my time i lose too much on calls it's not worth it so all right say bye to the v, say bye to v blog all i did is uh i updated them on everything on everything yeah even your paint job in your house did you show on my house yeah that i have no plan for yet well, we got it. We'll show him the plans. All the plans I like, he doesn't like. But I have no about? idea. I told you any plan you wanted. No. Remember, you told me no. Yeah, I wanted you to stay under 5,000 square foot, maybe. It is under 5,000 square uh -huh. feet. It's 2,900. Yeah, you got to stick right under that 3,000, don't you? So we have to pay more taxes. Did you tell him about your shop that I know nothing about? You don't need to know nothing about it. It's not just your it's shop. It's not a girl cave. It's a man cave. It's not just your shop. Look at that, she just reached my nipples every time. Did you, did you time. see how he took off? Every time. Did you see? Every time. Did you see? Did you see? We have to have a talk. About what? The grays? And my beard? Has people seen you? Yeah, they see me all the time. Then they know you're gray. So why can't I go gray? Have a good one. Like and share the video. Sorry it's a lame video, but you did get a lot of update here, guys. Have a good one. Like and share.